And how does the designer do that? Like outside of the actual day-to-day -day work that you do at yeah. your computer sitting down in your yeah. corner with your fellow designers around you, yeah. you speak about this connective tissue about yes. getting the rest of the company bought in. Right. How does the designer actually do that? Yeah, that's, that is such a good question. So let's pretend you are the first designer at a very traditional, let's say, Fortune 500 company for whom design has passed them by or the, yeah, this yeah. idea and they're just operating the way they used to. The advice I would give a designer, so for example, when I started here, and, and this is a design-led company, so design was part of the DNA and that was part of the reason that, that I was brought here. But um, if I talk to, say, a commercial team or a sales team, they were used to non-design roles. They were used to like, oh, well, we, we'll just go with this PowerPoint presentation. It doesn't matter. No one cares. Don't worry. And I wasn't going to convince them that it mattered by saying, no, it really does matter, and let's have a conversation about that. What I did was said, cool, can I, can, I, can I get your deck, though, back? Can I have it? I just want to reread it. I would reread it the first time. Not only did I redesign it, or did we redesign the look and feel so that it felt on brand, but we rewrote the story. I was like, you're telling a very dense, terrible story that no one wants to listen to. And I need the conversation that you have with a potential 